you show to everybody who told you you weren't good enough that you are by far good enough, better than good enough. <laughs> My name is Jamie Miller. How old are you? I've just turned 19. Wow. I first started singing in primary school. You come in from school, upstairs, bedroom, singing, dancing, floorboards shaking, and that was it every day. My dad is such a wimp, like he cries all the time. When he hears me sing, it's actually quite embarrassing. Crying already. Singing wasn't the coolest thing to do in high school. All my mates have always been rugby and football lads, so being the singer of the group, I was embarrassed. I actually did stop singing for a while. My life could change if the coaches just believe in me. What are you looking for in a coach? I didn't even come here expecting a turn. Um... <laughs> Have your moment, take your time. Um... Just someone who believes in me. Um, it's just... <laughs> just someone who believes in me um, and just be there to help me along the way. Wow. <laughs> I totally understand how you feel. And you would definitely have that support over here on Team J. Hud. I just want to share that with you. Thank you so much. Well. I'm sorry I didn't turn. I was almost there. I, I'm, I'm regretting it because you're an, an excellent singer. And so don't worry about anybody believing in you because I'm sure everybody in this room right. believes in you. Can you say something real quick? Yeah. Where do you get your soul from? I don't really know because, like, my family's like tongue deaf, so they can't say. So... Your parents? Yeah. I want to meet them because you <laughs> seem like very well mannered, kind. My dad's just gonna cry. <laughs> Mom, Dad! I'm so thankful we you both turning around. The person I pick is Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to B2B One on One. Today we have one of my dear friends and the amazing uh, singer, Jamie Miller, also a Buddha Bullying ambassador, which we're very proud to have you. Thank and you. I'm gonna preface this one, this B2B One on One by saying that me and Jamie tend to laugh at each other a lot. Not in a mean way, it's Very not true. in a bullying way, it's in an endearing <laughs> way, but it's like a nervous, funny not thing. Not in a bullying way. And it's said. like addicting. Like, no, it you do it, and then it's contagious, and I do it. I feel so it might happen. Yeah, I feel it coming. I feel it coming. <laughs> I feel like... You should be the one singing, anyway. actually. Anyway, um, so we wanted to kind of wing it. Yeah. And um, I know that you've been talking about this a lot, like on your Instagram and, and in our friend group, mm -hmm. about how um, it can be difficult coming to L.A. and being in this big city and in, in the industry that mm -hmm. you're in, you know, um, and trying to be the artist that you want to be and, and yeah. people trying to sway you, um, which is to me a form of, could be a form of bullying and especially yeah. the way certain people go about it. But um, just kind of what your journey has been like and, and um, yeah. in, that, in that way. So back when I was in high school, it wasn't like always the easiest like mm -hmm. situation if you're a boy you are either girly and all my friends are like rugby players and football players so if I wanted to attend choir class I would 
go to choir class, but I would hide under the table just because there's always like a stereotype or if you sing, then right, you're gay or you, if you sing, you're girly or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with those things. But back then being in school, it wasn't oh, nice sure. to hear. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, just because I want to do singing and that's my passion. I'm, all, I'm also like this, whatever. And then I actually ended up going on a TV show. And I guess because I fit a certain look and a certain age that I was like made to be like, oh, sing a Shawn Mendes song. And, with me, I feel like I've really like practiced singing so much, and I've like tried to really hone in on my skill. That I'm like, I don't want to be a Justin Bieber. I don't want to be a Shawn Mendes. Like they're amazing people as as a whole, but at the same time, I was just like, there's room for Jamie Miller. And don't get me oh, wrong. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm so thankful to be in the situation I'm in. But I feel like starting off as a new artist, especially in this crazy music industry, you're also often told how your narrative should be. And I was mm -hmm. like. For the I, I released two songs and they're like I love the songs that I've released, but at the same time I've really came to an understanding of like what I have to offer is also special, and I'm the person to like tell my narrative and my story, however that may be, and I feel like people really tell you like, oh like being you isn't good enough. Like I'm like I've I've been told like I'm a, we've all gone through some form of bullying, especially online with social media. I remember talking uh, to you about it, and like just going through like comments I think that that's one thing that I really struggled with at, at most because no matter how many comments you get good that one bad comment is always gonna like throw you off and I was just like it's time to just like be me and be like the person that I want to be the singer I want to be like the artist I want to be the story I want to tell I want to tell it I don't want other people telling it for because me. you'll never be able to please everyone yeah you'll never, like, <laughs> there will always be someone that has something to say yeah, and, you know and, what I mean and I've learned that like yeah you can't please anyone like even so with crazy. friends and family you're all gonna have different opinions do you know what I mean and yeah. I was just like me being me and you being you is like that's enough mm -hmm. and like for me I was I, I I'm not gonna lie, I got really lost in LA for a, for a little bit, like, I moved up across the world, didn't know anybody, didn't know... You can't even imagine. Yeah, I just didn't know anybody, and that in itself, I felt so lonely, and I think when people think you have a social media following, or, like, they see you, like, financially stable, or, like, that kid's got it together, that kid's, like, we can say whatever we want to that kid, like, he's got it, like, he, he doesn't have, like, feelings, like, you can say whatever you want and he'll be good with it. And for the longest time, I was just like, okay, maybe they're right, and, like, you almost let it take over your head until I started meeting the right people and I was like, no, this is not how I should feel. Like, right. like have friends who like pick you up, not tear you down. Like have friends that like are there for you like through your darkest times, not just your high points. And there's something in LA that, especially LA, mm -hmm. that you have to like deal, deal with. And I don't know. Of course, it's a really, it's a reckless city. What would you say, because I've been asked this a lot recently, mm -hmm. um, to people who, are getting negative comments on social media like do you delete them do you laugh at them do you like what because me my new tactic is I laugh I'm like wow yeah because I know who I am so yeah. what like literally Veronica laughing in the background but it's so true I'm like what what that's yeah. what you think and then I delete it I mean, what do you do you leave them up you delete them I mean I, I used to delete them a lot because I was embarrassed like if friends used to like look on my posts and they'd see like someone saying something negative to me I'm like I, I, for me it was like I, I really let it get to me and then I got to a point in my life where I was just like, this is always going to happen. Like, it right. no matter, like, this is the industry that I chose to be in. And unfortunately, with your passions and your dreams, it's not always glitz and glamour. You have mm -hmm. to accept, like, the stuff that comes with it. And for me, I'm just like, it, uh, uh, like, for me, too, I have a really good support system, family and friends. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but if I didn't have that, I really think it would be so de detrimental to me. Like, mm -hmm. because, like, you I have an amazing yeah, I really do, and I'm so blessed. But like, Jamie it, Miller's dad. Jamie I mean, Miller's no, he's dad. Miller's three. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Miller's dad. Three on Instagram. Love I'm gonna follow my dad. But <laughs> no, honestly, like, if if I didn't have like people being like, no, don't listen to these people. Honestly, it does get to you. And like, yeah. that's one thing that I tried to teach people, and one thing that I really wanted when I found out about Buddha bullying, that I really wanted to come like be an ambassador for it because bullying doesn't stop at school. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. No. The the things that we hold in our hands are so powerful like like think of it we're holding our phones every day and we're so everybody is so connected to social media whatever it is and like sometimes being on your phone is like going to school like right. it doesn't stop like oh you can like you can leave class if someone's like giving you a bad name like you can't leave this world of social media and social media is going to be around for so long but if you have like a support system outside the social medium people living in the real world telling you how much they love you like mm -hmm. you can do this and I feel like this is one thing that I was like I have a platform how can I help and Buddha bullying like 
I just fell in love with the message you guys were saying and I was just like if there's people out there that can captivate that message and help people on a digital platform across the world, not just in one space, it's so important to use our voices while we can because we're the people that are going to change the narrative for like of the up and coming generations, you know? Yeah. yeah, that's something I talk about a lot. It's like, you know, of course we're here to end bullying, Yeah. but the truth of the matter is I don't really think it ever will end. I think that we just become stronger mm. and it's about learning how to combat it and adapt to different it. tactics. Yeah. Like it's, there's, there are always going to be haters, trolls. I feel like the new word for it is trolls. Um, yeah. you know, and it's just about, it, it really starts here. So with Brittany who, you know, Brittany, she's part of our circle. Uh -huh. She was interviewed before that. We talked a lot about the self bullying. It's like when you check in with yourself and you're sure of who you are and that has to do with who you surround yourself with and just how you talk to yourself in your own head. It's really hard to break someone down who's super sure of themselves. And that's why we have to continuously check in yeah. because, and make sure that we are surrounding ourselves with people who lift us up because, yeah. because there is a lot of hate and negativity in the world and it's not necessarily yeah. ever going to go away. It's just your perspective and outlook on it. So yeah. I love that you brought that up because I'm yeah. sure so many, I know so many people look up to you and obviously see this, successful, good looking young guy, you know, financially stable, of course, and super freaking talented, obviously. Thank you. And they do for some reason think like we have some shield underneath our yeah. shirt, you know, that's, that's what, and that's what I was going to say, like with you saying that you laugh at the comments, how do you deal with things? Like, that's how I do it now. So, so you just, I didn't do it like that for so long. I was just, actually, I, I used you to still have your own like struggles and inner demons though that like, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like you, you, like you being like a leader of this organization, I guess people are thinking, oh, she's fine. Like she's got it all together. While she do, no. but you're doing this, <laughs> but you're doing this, and you're like, this, this mm -hmm. movie coming out, this, like you, you seem to keep it all together too. So like, does that make it hard for you trying to keep this perfect image? Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm saying this is because I love you so much. And, and like, we've talked about this. Yeah, we've talked about, it, but like, you, like, does this, is it a struggle too for you? Just yeah. Like, yeah. And I think, well, that's, I, my I, like my skin has definitely gotten much thicker just as I've grown up and as so, I've done. <laughs> I thought you said thicker. No, you didn't. <laughs> Are you bullying me? <laughs> I need some. I need a dollar. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you making fun of me? Did it get thicker? Me? <clears throat> anyway, sorry. I'm See what I deal with? I'm so sorry. This is the circle I surround myself with. No, they make me laugh. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, all right. <laughs> going back. Trying to get serious. I feel like it's going to take me like 20 minutes now to get back in the serious zone. I was doing so well, Jamie. I'm Damn so it. Sorry. No, uh, honestly, my skin has gotten thicker. Yeah. He thought I said snicker or sicker or whatever you thought I said. But, no, because um, can I be honest? Can I interrupt you? Yes. When I first found out about Boots of Bullying, I looked at you and I was just like, this girl has it all together. And, and I feel like that also comes across as, what, remember when I first met you, I was like, I was so intimidated. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's another perception of social media, because like me being intimidated you, by you through a photo, because you were doing this, or like me being intimidated by you talking about your successes, that was almost a reflection of me. Like I was so nervous to meet you because I just, I was just like this, she has it all together. What do I bring to the table? And then meeting you and getting to know your heart. Like I was, uh, I felt like I met you at a time where I just needed to meet real people. And like, honestly, like you're, you're so amazing inside and out. And I really mean this from the bottom of my heart. Like you don't give yourself enough credit. So like, and it's awesome to like, <laughs> no, but it's like awesome to see like you doing like, and I'm so proud of you too. Cause like getting to know you in the short amount of time that I've actually gotten to know you for someone to like be in this industry, and not let anything like overcome because there's, there's horrible people, there's like so many bad like people that we can meet. But, like you have the heart of gold and I'm so lucky to meet you. So it's like really cool that you're doing this and yeah, I mean it, you're awesome. I appreciate it. And that's, thank you so much. And I think that's like, that's the thing. And that's why we need to have these conversations, these conversations. And that's why I, you know, I'm anyone out there, I'm asking you if you haven't done this yet and you have a platform or you don't have to have a platform either, but mm -hmm. anyone out there, like, please have these conversations. Let's not just make Instagram a highlight reel. Hey, I'm guilty of it. Like, I've, of course I want to post mm -hmm. pictures where I look the best. Of course I've edited things. Of course I use filters. We were talking about them today. Like, it's natural. It's what you, you, yeah. it's, we've all become accustomed to this world and I get it. But like, 
any anything's a start and and this is a start having just starting the heart having the hard conversations and being vulnerable because yeah. nobody has it together yeah. and and that's why i that's why i advocate for for all of this for anti-bullying and um, mental health awareness because you know i think that it doesn't discriminate and it doesn't matter who you are or what you do or what you drive or what you have, whatever. It's yeah. just like everybody, it, we're human at the end of the day. Mm. So I love that you brought that up because people, like I was saying, would look at you or look at I, look at me and, and maybe compare themselves. And um, mm. it's so important to not do that and to re constantly remember that Instagram is a bit of a highlight reel. Yeah, <clears throat> and I've talked about it. I don't remember where I was talking about it. I think on some interview maybe a couple weeks ago, but it just reminded me of this I was having a really crappy night and I had an event that night and I got dressed up in this like blue, you can probably find it if you scroll back, yeah, you told me about blue this. rhinestone dress, yeah. I was telling you about this and like had to go to this event and I, can't, I went home that night and I was like, I have a video of it, I don't know why it's a video of it because I wanted to remember and to be able to talk about it, yeah. you know, at some point, maybe even show the video, but I was just like bawling my eyes out. I was yeah. having a really rough day and like yeah. I've opened up about how I do struggle with anxiety and I am just a normal human being and I was going through a relationship issue and I was just, it was, you know, in, in the summer and I, mm -hmm. it's just so important for people to understand that so many of the things they see in so many of these posts you know, I, I wanted to post it to represent the cause. It was yeah. an MS drive-in, and um, mm -hmm. I'm passionate about that cause. And But I was having such a crappy day. And anyone yeah. that would see that photo would be like, wow, she's got it all together. And yeah. it's like, no, I didn't. I went yeah. home and broke down in my bed. And, that, and, that, and that's <clears> another <throat> thing I think we should touch on. Like, people, everybody's timeline is so different. Yeah. Like, so if Cassie gets an acting role within two weeks of, like, her trying out for it, that's amazing. But if it takes someone two years, that's also amazing. I think people like tend to do a comment because they're not where they want to be in their life. Right. Like, it doesn't matter. Like everybody's on a different timeline. Like, and I feel like that's one thing that I've got to came to realize too. It's just like it doesn't. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But like, if you have a dream, go for it. But don't put others down. Don't on put the your pressure way. on yourself. There's yeah. no time clock because it can yeah. feel that way too. Like you'll see someone else maybe that started around the same time as you. Yeah. That is. I don't want to say more successful at the time, but seems to be more successful and is yeah. just booking more jobs or, yeah. or putting out more songs or whatever. But it, it, so many, so many, so much of the time, like so many times, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's not your time yet. Exactly. It's not your calling. It's not your purpose. It's every. I'm mm -hmm. so huge on everything happens for a reason. But I'm glad you said that because I do that. I've do, I finally stopped doing that. But I did that mm -hmm. constantly. Yeah. Thirty hit, and I was like, nope, you're not doing that anymore. But literally, <laughs> like the day before I turned 30, I started my, up to my last day of 29. I don't know what happened when I magically turned 30 and I was just like, I don't care about anything anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to be happy or try to be. I'm going to have shitty days too. Yeah. But um, uh, I did that. I, I was so, mm. I compared myself to so many other people and I allowed myself to feel this immense amount of pressure yeah. and sadness uh -huh. where as long as you're doing the best you can do and, and mm. you know, you know, within yourself that you are putting in the time and effort and also being a human and hanging out with friends and the balance, which me and Brittany were just talking about, where yeah. you're also just enjoying life, mm -hmm. not letting it just pass you by because you're yeah. so focused on goals and timelines. Yeah, um, being present, like just being yeah. like living in the moment is like one thing that I've like really tried to do. Because mm -hmm. we're not gonna, all, we're never gonna be in the same situation again, do you know what I mean? And right. like, people are really like taking COVID <clears throat> as well. I don't mean to bring up like a global pandemic, but I feel like no, please this do. is like it's another real. form of, book, like it's like another thing that people can go attack someone to like release whatever they want to release mm -hmm. on someone else and I just feel like this is now more than ever a time where we need to be there for each other there's so much hate in the world and going through a global pandemic is so like who would have ever thought we were going to be going through a global pandemic right no I still can't it's still so surreal to me yeah. that I have to leave like grab my mask before I leave my house I don't yeah. know why that's like still weird to me yeah and I feel like it, it always is, will be yeah and it, and 100% but like this is also a time where the kid who was too scared to try things is also po posting a singing video. The girl who was too scared to post a dancing video is now not in front of her friends for her friends to do so she's gonna post a dancing video. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's so important to like leave a nice comment, like leave a like, you're doing great, like check in and just be like, yo, it's these, so easy to be so, nice. It's, 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 so, it's easy. so easy. So like if you if you are watching this, just just be just be kind to one another, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. So, I love just be that. more like Cassie.
<laughs> and Jamie. <laughs> and, Jamie. And, and, and all of our amazing friends. We've got Veronica in the background. We've got Dimitri, Diana. Um, but, yeah. no, I love that. And yeah. I think that there's so much to take away from all, all that you just said. And I'm mm -hmm. so happy that people get to see this. And thank you again for using your platform and for laughing at me for the way. <laughs> oh, God, thicker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I always end off the segments with that with these two questions. The yeah. first one is, and we mm -hmm. kind of touched on it, but ultimately, when you're scrolling down social media, yeah. do you, is it more of a negative experience or a positive experience? And if negative, how can... What, are, what would be ways to combat that? And if positive, um, like what would you, what, what would be your advice to people that are struggling with when mm -hmm. they scroll down their, you know, their feed? I feel like, like I feel like now it's like, it's more of a positive, like if I'm scrolling through comments, it's like positive, but that's because I've allowed myself to let Instagram see like the goofy side of me and like let them know that I'm a real person. Whereas before when I wasn't, when I was just showing, like you said, like the highlight reels of my life, or this is how perfect, like I want you to think I am. It was more so negative because I wasn't being authentic to, to Jamie. Like, right. Jamie, and I feel like people really do nowadays, m more so than ever, like really see what's authentic and what's not. Yeah. So for me now, I'm just, it's more of a positive experience. Don't get me wrong, there's one or two douchebags, <laughs> should I say, but I mean, like, like I said, like it's just one of those things where I'm just like, this is someone who's feeling really insecure about themselves. They can be in Idaho, they can be in London, like, you know I mean? like, it doesn't matter, they don't add any value to your life. But again, you can, we're never gonna be there to change, more so like help people learn that this is not good, you know? Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Um, it's a lot, it, so I guess it, it's just, which I feel like a lot of people, I think it's always, the majority of the answer is just kind of perspective and like yeah, what you make of it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. just be yourself. Like, <laughs> there's, there's so much beauty in being yourself. Is when I do that, I get so much better. Yeah. So so much. I get um, the responses are so much better. Yeah. Even if it's like this, the video, like the dumbest video, yeah. it'll do better. Yeah. Because or get more responses. Yeah. Than like a very it's in, put it's, in, it's, video. In, it's endearing, you know. Like yeah. you can relate to that. Like yeah. you can relate to being goofy. You can relate to being sad. You can relate to being all this. But if you're just there, trying to be perfect, people. Yeah. Unfortunately, more I'm relatable bad. content. More relatable Give content. Give it to us. <laughs> um, and then, this could be at any age yep. of your life. Mm -hmm. But if you were to go back and tell your younger, what would you go back and tell your younger self if you can go back and tell them, tell yourself one thing? What I know it, this sounds really silly, but I would go into choir class and just like not care about what my friends thought. Like I never, I when I was younger, people told me like. If you're from this area, you're gonna stay in this area. This is how you're gonna be. And I was really so. I waited. I mean, I'm still young, but like I waited too long for like not to care what my friends think. And like they're not your friends if they're gonna have so much an opinion right. on it for doing what you love. So I'd tell the kid going into choir class, it's okay to like sit in a chair and not under the table. Cause like, mm. look at me now, I'm a singer. Like I'm living my dream. Uh, yeah. And like, just, just, just be you, man. Like it's like, just it's it's cool being you, and mm -hmm. no one should ever try and stop you from being you. Thank you. Pretty cool, Jamie. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> um, thank you so much. You of know course. how much I love you and I adore you, too. and you have the biggest heart of gold. So thank you. I appreciate you telling me that, but you obviously, have you as well. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Like this is, uh, these are these are like my favorite things to do is to have these conversations. Thank with, you so much for having me. Thank you so much for speaking with me, Jamie. Of and course. thank you guys for tuning in to another B Two B One on One. And be sure to follow us at Buta Bullion on all social media platforms. Boo! <laughs> <It's a> <laughs>